Hey, this is Sean with The Prepared Homestead. I want to give you a, a quick update on our, our hot water compost uh, system or a pile here. And uh, the last time I did a video on this, I think it was July the 9th, maybe July 8th, something around, around that. Uh, so we're about, uh, you know, we're about um, two weeks in, three, two to three weeks in. And uh, the pile is still going strong, but I want to be able to give you a quick update and show you some of the particulars. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and, and take a temperature reading. So let's uh, get our compost thermometer in there and let's take a look. So let's see, it's right now it's hitting the hit 120 and climbing a little bit. But it looks like it could slow down uh, quite a bit. Uh, maybe settling out there about 124 degrees and that's Again, 18 inches into the pile, 124 degrees. Not bad. Uh, when we did our last update, two, two and a half weeks to, to three weeks ago, it was uh, kicking about 145. Our uh, prediction for this pile was 30 to 45 days or so. Um, and, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. There's a lot of improvements that we're going to make for compost, like what I'm calling compost pile. Uh, 2.0 and actually it looks like um, yeah we hit about 125 there 125 degrees let's call that kind of the final so 125 degrees in this uh, compost pile and again it's relatively small and so 2.0 is going to be much bigger and we're going to make some changes to the to the tubing that's inside and increasing capacity uh, one of the one of the um, uh, changes that we're going to make like I said, is increasing capacity. At this point, we're only getting maybe a couple gallons of hot water at a time out of this, just because of the amount of tubing that we have in there, and the, you know the volume essentially. And you know that'll improve this system a lot. And then the other thing we might toy with is running a continuous, like a small little jet pump, and, and experiment with that and see if we can't increase that now one of the things we've, we've tried with this is we have uh, basically got that that two gallons of hot water out and it is hot and it's great shower water in fact you have to add a little bit of cool water to make it work um, is uh, being able to increase that capacity and fill up a, a larger container okay so like I said two gallons of hot and then it re heats up relatively fast i mean you know with that small amount it's not like refilling an entire you know hot water heater and then having to um, reheat it that way it's two gallons so, and so it, it it probably recharges as far as heat in about 30 minutes or less even and, you know in 10 minutes it's it's really warm water but to get it up to its full full heat potential seems to take somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes all right so that's 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 pretty good that's pretty good all right so we, we're gonna have uh, 2.0 going here pretty soon but we want to see again is this pile going to um, be able to last for 30 days 45 days and, and again if you don't remember this setup we've got it's our outdoor shower and it's used almost the hot water from here is used almost exclusively in that outdoor shower um, and then I'll show you one more thing so what we do is we run a, basically a, just a really simple gray water system that goes from that shower. So all that shower water runs out here and then we've got this little, just that little mini swale that we kind of dug out there where the water collects in there, spreads out and then it soaks in. And that angle is just a little, little down. And then we've got our tree nursery and we've got, I don't know, uh, 12, 15 grafted fruit trees in there and then some elderberry and some currants. And I can't really tell because we've got a lot of other um, weeds and things in there, but we don't really worry about that. We'll knock them down a little bit just to make sure that the, uh, the trees and the shrubs can outcompete them, but that's about all we do. Um, okay, that, that covers the update. And then so the last thing I'll say as far as the, uh, the compost pile and getting hot water out of it is I, I want to hear your ideas. What, what types of experiments would you like to see us perform here on the prepared homestead um, doesn't matter Get wacky ideas crazy ideas we're willing to try just about anything so if there's something that you want to see experimented with let us know and uh, we'll give it a shot
All right. Talk to you later.